Hi children, welcome back again to our next virtual class. Children, I just want to remind you something. That is, you are watching the classes and you are doing the homework. And some are writing in their rough book and learning. Okay, good children. But some of them, I have noticed that they are just watching the classes and doing the homework. That's all. They are not practicing it. They are not reading the content. So children, you have to utilize your opportunity well. As we teachers are not coming to you directly and we are not teaching you directly, you are getting all the classes through our virtual classes, right? So utilize this opportunity well and read your content, do your homework and also you have to practice it in your rough book. Okay children, so now let's go to our next learning session. So in the last class, we discussed about the life processes such as growth, nutrition, movement, respiration, sensitivity, etc. So I hope that all are clear about such life processes. Now let's see another topic that is excretion. So have you ever thought how our human body is functioning? Our human body is amazing, isn't it? Lot of functions are taking place inside our body. So such life processes we have gone through. Certain life processes we already gone through. And I will tell you more. As we all are eating our food, isn't it? We are eating and inside our body digestion is taking place. Digestion and our body is absorbing the nutrients which we are getting from our food. Our body is taking all the nutrients and excess waste, waste materials are there. We have to throw it out from our body. So for that we have to eliminate this waste from our body. So this elimination process eliminating the waste from our body is known as excretion. So now let us learn more about excretion today. See this activity 1.8. Observe the images and complete the speech bubbles. What do you think the boy is telling his mother? He says that he want to go to the toilet. Isn't it? See this picture. What the man is saying? The man is saying that, Oh, this crow has dirtied me. So what that crow has done? Yes, the crow has eliminated its waste from its body. So children, the process of eliminating waste from our body. This process is known as excretion. So, we are excreting not only in the form of stool, but also we are excreting our waste in the form of urine or sweat. So, now are you clear about this excretion? Now, let's see this video. Living things excrete. Students, this is a cow. A cow eats straw grass, hay, and twigs of trees. A cow also drinks water. All these things are the food for the cow. After a cow eats its food and water, where do the food and the water go? Do you know? The food and the water go to its stomach. Yes, the food and the water reach the stomach of the cow. In the stomach, the body of the cow takes the necessary nutrients from the food. After this, still some part of food is left, but this food is not necessary for the body of the cow. So, the remaining food is the waste. The cow removes this waste food from its body as cow dung. 
it also removes unnecessary water from its body as urine not only a cow living things like a buffalo a horse a donkey a sheep a dog and a cat also remove wastes like stool and urine from their bodies so all the animals remove wastes like stool and urine from their bodies the process of removing wastes from the body is called excretion we also go to the toilet to remove wastes as stool and urine from our bodies don't we when we play and run sweat comes out of our skins the sweat is also a waste so the sweat coming out of our body is also excretion so from this video we understood that the harmful waste which is produced in any living thing is eliminated from its body through a process known as excretion are you clear about this okay now let's see another topic another important characteristics of a living thing which is distinguishing from a non living thing is that their ability to produce young ones so let us learn more about this in detail you know what is that process yes that is reproduction so the process by which a living thing produce their young ones of their own kind is known as reproduction so reproduction is that they produce their young ones of their own kind le nammale pole ulla young ones ne produce cheyum le ipo human beings anengil human beings are producing young ones of their kind if it is a dog dog will give birth to a puppy likewise so now you understood what is reproduction yes the process by which a living thing produce their own young ones their own kind le that process is known as reproduction so this living beings reproduce their own kind or reproduce their young ones through various processes in some animals or birds they will lay eggs and give birth to their young ones in some living beings what is happening they give birth to young ones as a baby it is coming out so these living beings give birth to their child either by laying eggs or giving birth to a baby for example the hen lays egg to give birth to a chicken likewise human or animals some animals give birth to their young ones of their own kind a cow give birth to a calf can you say some living beings which lay eggs yes they are pigeon snake ostrich etc likewise some living beings give birth to young ones can you say some examples yes they are dogs cat elephant we human beings we all are giving birth to young ones so for learning more about this we will see this video reproduction in living organisms have you ever wondered how young ones of living organisms are produced when living things reproduce they make new living things reproduction is the process by which living organisms like humans birds and animals form new individuals of the same kind for example look at this nest and the eggs laid by the pigeon in it some of these may hatch and young ones come out different living things have different modes of reproduction some produce their young ones through eggs for example 
hands. Some give birth to the young ones, for example, human beings, cows, dogs, cats. From this video, we understood the process of reproduction clearly. Isn't it children? So now we studied about the life processes such as growth, then nutrition, movement, respiration, sensitivity and today we learned about excretion and reproduction. So these all life processes helps the living thing to stay healthy and alive. So I hope that you have understood the life processes of the living things clearly. Okay children, so now let's see in the next class. But please make sure that you have to watch the class, do your homework and write and practice in your rough book daily. Okay, thank you.